there everybody I'm out foraging today and I should have taken my video before but you know you never know what you're gonna find and so this inspired me to make something later today but wait till you see my basket yep we got us some chicken chicken out of wood is that not gorgeous oh my gosh so fresh we got the greens growing out of it but you can see the back you can see all the pores on the back but it's beautiful nothing has gotten to it yet there's some more in there so some will become dinner and some will go to market and then in here i had to move the chanterelles and the cinnabars because i needed to make room for the chicken there would be no way that you could put that chicken in there with the chanterelles it would crush them but look at this beautiful red cinnabar red chanterelle red cinnabar you can see it has the fork and veiny gills whoa we just lost them fork and veiny gills right there beautiful mushroom is the same color top and bottom this one's a little bit faded but it is the same color and then of course we have some golden chanterelles this one is the smooth variety very pretty I think I have at least a pound of chanterelles and cinnabars and then we have our chicken at the wood so I'm gonna have to make something delicious for you well hello there and welcome to the forager chick channel if you're new here we're happy to have you join us in today's episode of wild eating with the forager chick I'm going to make you something amazing something that I found in the woods and let me show you what it is you ready look at this y'all know what this is right it's chicken of the woods so this chicken of the woods mushroom I found the other day in the woods local to me and I was so excited I found like I guess it was about three pounds or so and so we did sell some and this one I'm gonna cook this today for you guys and then this other little piece that I have here look at it isn't that amazing this piece is going to a class I'm, I'm gonna be teaching up in New York so I'm pretty excited to bring that but I want you to see this look at it orangey peachy colored and you can see the pores on the other side but this one is really fresh and so I'm gonna make for you today a chicken of the woods sandwich it's a chick-fil-a copycat and if you've ever eaten at chick-fil-a and you've had their chicken sandwich that's fried and put on a roll with mayonnaise and pickles um, they soak their chicken in pickle juice and the pickle cheese makes the chicken all tender. Well, it does the same thing with chicken of the woods. And I swear, you will not even know that this is not real chicken when you eat it. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare this. First thing we have to do is it clean it. And it's pretty clean right now. I have this cute little mushroom brush. Isn't that cute? I'll link this down below in the description for you guys. But I just clean it and make sure there's no dirt and stuff on the back of it. And I'm going to break it apart anyway because we might see some little critters in there. So what I do is I just break apart these little petals. That's what I call them, fronds, petals. Break them apart so they're like chicken cutlet size. This one's probably a little bit big. I'm going to go ahead and cut that one in half. This one is good. And then this one. And I'm going to save this little piece so it's not like I'm not going to use it. See that? So I'm going to clean each one of these. Make sure there's no dirt on it. I don't wash these mushrooms. This one's going to be soaking in the pickle juice. So if it was really dirty, you could wash it and then just lay it on some towels to dry um, right before you're going to cook it. Don't do that and then put them in the fridge because then they'll be a soggy mess. All right. There we go. And the main thing when you are doing, can you see the back of that? See how clean it is? When you are picking mushrooms, just pick really healthy specimens and you don't have to worry about all those critters in there. Because we don't want any extra protein in there. So I am going to cut that one big one and the second big one. Oh, there's even a piece of grass in there. We don't need that. 
brass or I don't even know what it was. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to put them in a little bowl, just like that. And I know this doesn't seem like a lot, but I swear, when you fry these, they get so big. And I'm going to use some for a sandwich, and then some I'm going to make uh, chicken parmesan later because I roasted some tomatoes. All right, so we have that. And just get you some regular pickle juice, kosher dill pickle juice. Pour it over. Make sure they're all covered. You have to move them around just a little bit. You could do that, or you could rotate them. All right. Save those pickles. So we leave it like this just for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'll get all the rest of the ingredients prepared, and I'll meet you right back here. All right. They've been soaking for 10 minutes now. And we're going to take them out and just gently blot them on a towel. Don't go crazy. Just to get a little bit of that excess pickle juice off. No need to rinse them. They're a little bit more pliable now after sitting in there. And we'll just put that aside. We might try those little couple of pieces too. But So then what I did is I have here flour. An egg, a little closer, flour, egg, and some panko breadcrumbs. But first we need to season our flour with some salt and pepper. And all I do is just take just a little, I eyeball it. <laughs> I'm going to salt it after it comes out of the fryer too. And some black pepper. You could also put a little bit of garlic powder if you wanted in here, onion powder, whatever you've you know, whatever you like, any kind of like cayenne or, or paprika. There we go. And then I'm going to check my oil first. I have a um, cast iron pan here with some vegetable oil, canola oil, and you can use coconut oil, whatever oil you want. I just wanted to see how hot it is because I already turned it on. And it is pretty hot. You want it just like when you're frying chicken. So the first thing we do... Take our little chicken and woods, put it in the flour, then dip it in the egg. Let some of that egg drip off though. And get it all in there. Let it drip off. Oops, lost a piece. <laughs> right into the panko. I'm using my hands. My hands are clean. All right, put it on a little plate here. See that? Do another. Get it all covered. Oh, gosh, I just love cooking this. I mean, it's free food from the forest. Didn't have to get it from the store. Egg came from my chickens. It's just nice when you can find food and it's free. Saves on your grocery budget, too. And by the way, what I'm making here for this recipe is just going to be a chicken sandwich. But I'm going to link up here somewhere the other video that I have for making. It's a take on chicken parmesan, and I use roasted tomatoes. And in the video I had used, I think I used some vegan cheese instead of regular cheese. But you can use anything you want. So you have to check that out. And in that video as well, I go into details about identifying chicken and woods. Almost done. Then we're going to put them in. There we go. We can start actually putting them in. Let's see. Want it to sizzle. It's a sizzling. Put this one in. Woo. I hope they're all going to fit in one shot, but I don't know. I'm using a medium cast iron skill. I might be able to. I might be able to get these all in here. Let's see.
you just want to turn them over when they're golden brown. Do that. Turn it over. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that one's not ready yet. Ooh, they look so good. They smell amazing. Oh, come on, it's fried. Pink or red crumb. Can't go wrong there. Just gonna rotate them. Leave them just a couple of more minutes and we'll flip the rest. Then I'll show you what we're gonna do with them. You'll have to see these. First couple are coming out. Let those grease strip off there. Look at that. Oh. Isn't that gorgeous? Lay down on the plate. Put that right here. Wait, this little one is done too. Oh, that one needs another minute. I'm gonna go ahead and put this last piece in. I know you're supposed to wait until the rest are done, but it's not yet chicken, so we don't really have to work. Right. Couple more minutes. When you do have chicken that comes out, or chicken, mushroom, whatever it is that you're frying, and it does come out of the oil, it's really a good idea to just take your salt, I'm putting it in my hand so I don't put too much, and just sprinkle it over the top. Season it every time it comes out. Okay, the last one is coming out of the fryer. It only took about I would say three to five minutes per side. That's about it. The second batch went a little quicker because my oil was even hotter. So note to self, make sure your oil is perfectly hot enough. Drop in a little bit of breadcrumbs and see if it fries up right away. But it's okay. It's all good. So let me just salt that little, that last one that came out. Don't overdo it, Emery. All right. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? They look like chicken, right? Let me show you what I'm going to do with it now because we got to make the chicken sandwich. So let me move this hot thing out of the way. Get really hot. Let's just scoot it over there so there's no chance of me um, having an issue with it. All right. So to assemble our sandwich. Now, my bun is not like Chick-fil-A's. I got a really nice seated bun here. Have any kind of bun that you want. You need mayonnaise, of course. A little bit on the bottom. Or a lot. A little bit on the top. Squish it on there really good. Pick your chicken. This one. This had my name on it from as soon as I put it in the fryer. Put it on there. Pickles. We gotta have pickles on the chicken sandwich. These were a little bit long, so we're gonna go ahead and cut them. And now you could also use um, the sweet pickles, the bread and butter pickles, dill pickles, whatever kind of pickle you like. Look at that so far. Now, the next thing I'll put on there is, just because I feel like doing this today, is I made a little bit of hot sauce uh, last week, and this is a turkey tail infused turmeric and ginger hot sauce. Yeah, I'll put that recipe up one day, maybe. <laughs> so I'm just going to sprinkle a little sprinkle, pour, spread, whatever you want to call it, just a little bit on there. Okay, so that part's not Chick-fil-A, the hot sauce. And then I'm going to put a little bit of honey. Feeling a little bit of eating on the wild side today. Even more wild than normal. Put your bun on there. I want you to look at that first. Oh, my word. Put the top on there. Cut it in half because we don't need to eat like animals today. Not in front of you. <laughs> Going in. Mm 
Mm. Dripping down my face. Mm. Crunchy. Taste that mayonnaise and the pickle juice. Mm. I really like the hot sauce on top of this with the honey. So you get hot and sweet all together. It's always nice when you can do all those flavors. So good. Mm. Chicken in the woods is crunchy, tender, delicious. Does not taste like a mushroom. I'm telling you, you got to try it. Mm. One more. Because <laughs> mm. you can't stop. I'm going to be that I'm going to use dish towel for my face. Mm. So, I hope you guys liked this episode. Wild Eating with the Forager Chick. We made our Chick-fil-A copycat chicken sandwich with chicken of the woods mushroom. And remember, I will link that other video up here for the identifying chicken of the woods. And I hope you like this episode. Have a beautiful day. Share with your friends. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that little subscribe button and like. We love comments too. Thank you and have a beautiful day today. Bye now.